Ah, that was good. How's it going, people? Well, it's really hot up here on Mount Hope. In Sacramento, it's 104 degrees today. It's not quite that bad up here, but I have no air conditioning. So I'm going to have a nice, cold bubble martini. And I have a, a reason for this uh, treat. My good buddies at the Church of Scientology have sent me another epistle. I can't imagine what they have to say to me at this point, but apparently they still have plenty to say to me. Um, maybe there's a, some event that I should be a uh, part of. Uh, hopefully it isn't too late. I got this like um, mm, the 18th of June, and I believe today's the 26th. I might be too late for the, whatever the event was. Uh, I'm unclear. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have a... Um, postage paid envelope. I don't see Craig's name on it, so it must be from somebody else. Somebody else's turn. Hmm. And here's a little something about problems at work. I, I, God, I'm not really having those. Works pretty good these days. Uh, they actually seem to like me, though. No, strange. This is typewritten. Dear Richard, how are you doing? Do you still have your self-analysis book and problems at work DVD? Yeah, yeah, they're out here somewhere. Uh, both those have a lot of good data that you can apply. Have, been, have you been using any of it best? Uh, Aud Audria. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, Ar Arania. Sorry, I was reading your signature. Uh, Arania uh, Ledoux. Great name. Anyway. Uh, you know, I'm doing so damn good, it just hasn't occurred to me to avail myself of all this high-tech uh, stuff. Anyway, I do have this DVD of this. Um, I don't have the audio book or anything, but... Just basically a bunch of observations, uh, obviously written by a person who's good at reading people. <laughs> the problems of work. Work your life so it works for you. And you work for the Sea Org. <laughs> or wherever they need you. A workman is not just a workman. A laborer is not just a laborer. I mean, it depends on how many hours of the day. I mean, I'm a workman and a laborer and a couch potato. I can do both. Sometimes I'm even a drunkard. I'm also a homeowner because I didn't spend any of my money on this. All right. Uh, an office worker is not just an office worker. I failed to make that last point. I delayed it. I hope I didn't mess this up. My presentation is a little off. I'm reading this cold. They are living, breathing, important pillars on which the entire structure of our civilization is erected. L. Ron Hubbard. Duh! Just interesting way of phrasing the obvious. Okay. Bring order and understanding to life's confusions. How about some of his written confusions? Uh been a long day, long week, and this is going right to my head. It's been so hot. 
I got to get air conditioning for up here. Uh, I thought being on the edge of the woods would make it cool enough, but and being up on a hill, I'm out. All right. Life is composed of seven tenths work, uh, one tenth political, and one tenth relaxation. We don't get a percentage for fucking, I guess. So. And they mentioned sleep. You do that too. I do a lot more of sleeping. But I often dream about fucking so. Uh, the problems uh, of work contains the senior principles and laws which apply to every endeavor, every problem of work. Laws? Why don't you just say axioms? Don't be so damn legalistic there, Ron. <laughs> yeah, you crazy dead guy. Uh, for they are the discoveries which lay bare the core of these problems and explain the very fabric of life itself. I understand you gain IQ points, you know, by something like two or three per session. And I'm sure they'll use the Oxford test to prove that you just got smarter by a couple of points. What is this, Dungeons and Dragons? You got two more intelligent points. All right. Uh, the breakthroughs detailed here include, but not necessarily all of them, just some of them, um, the anatomy of confusion and its cure, coming from this guy. The doctrine of the stable datum the most fundamental law of work and living. You know what? I don't know about all these terms. You know what I do? My job. And I generally like people, so uh, I'm a polite guy. You know, don't talk politics and all that stuff with the people that, you know, that are customers. I do my job, and I'm pleasant to be around. Because, you know, just eight and a half hours a day. And it's paying for my house. Paid for my house. Uh, okay. The anatomy of control. And how to turn bad control to good. You know, you should read Emotional Intelligence. Very good book. Kind of sounds like this too. And I use that instead. Um, oh, I think I'll recommend that book to, to Craig. I wonder if he's read it. Um, the most fundamental elements of life affinity, reality, and communication. So, oh, that's their holy trinity, I guess. Uh, The rock bottom cause of exhaustion. I find it's being tired and worn out. Yeah, I recommend getting some rest. Some R&R. Some &R. <laughs> no charge. Okay. Some free technology there. Alright. With the powerful Scientology processes that return the energy of youth. Here, then, is not only technology to bring stability to the workplace, 
but the magic processes to return joy itself to all of life for this is Scientology guaranteed or well you're out your money uh, guaranteed or it isn't they'll guarantee it <laughs> yeah the philosophy of the con man you know what I, I think I ought to read some more of the last uh, last week's or last month's dynamic that my mom got so I'll read that in another video um, anyway let me know did you learn something maybe I missed it and you can show me where it was and explain it to me because I'm eager to learn uh, chime in if you've got something to say one way or the other no spam peace the fuck out have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having <laughs>